நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் என்ன ஒரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டேமல் வீடியோ ஆஃப் அவர் ரெனவுண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி த லிங்க் ஆஃப் த ஒரிஜினல் வேர்ஷன் தட் இஸ் அ டேமல் வீடியோ இஸ் கிவன் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ This is Astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In my last video, I explained the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Cancer Ascendant. In this video, I am going to explain the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Leo Ascendant. When sun resides in the Ascendant house itself, that is, in leo it should be subhatva though sun is ascendant lot since it is 50% malefic and 50% benefic it will give both worse effects and benefits to the native of leo ascendant whatever it is the ascendant lot resides in the ascendant house itself sun is a planet which gives a lot of self confidence which gives leadership qualities when it resides in ascendant house and it delivers all these to the native based on significance when sun resides in ascendant house it delivers a lot of benefits and it is considered to be auspicious in addition to this if it gets subhatva that is when it gets connection of venus jupiter or full moon then it delivers immense benefits it will deliver great leadership qualities positions to the native when sun resides in second house to the ascendant house it is considered to be auspicious the ascendant lord itself is in house of wealth which is considered to be good because second house lord mercury considers sun as its best friend when sun resides in third house that is in house of libra it is not considered to be auspicious in this case sun is the ascendant lord itself so it should not get debilitated it should not lose thanabala directly it should definitely be with subhatva i have already mentioned that when sun crosses 20 degrees in house of libra you should not consider that sun is debilitated please remember the following point as well there are many great reputed officials whose ascendant lord is debilitated though sun is in the house of debilitation when it crosses 20 degrees it will not deliver its debilitated effects at all it is not considered to be debilitated 
you have to definitely remember the degree of deep exaltation and deep debilitation of all the planets. When sun crosses 10 degrees, which is said to be the deep debilitation degree in the house of Libra, it means it has crossed the debilitation. So you have to remember, you have to memorize all these in order to make your prediction very spontaneously. When a planet resides in the debilitated house, immediately don't assume that planet is debilitated. Please check the degree of the planet. There are many IPS officers whose natal chart Sun is in the house of Libra but has crossed 20 degrees. There are many natives of Leo ascendant whose Sun has crossed 20 degrees in house of Libra and still they are in a very high position like IAS. Though Sun gets debilitated here, it will not deliver very harmful effects but it should be Subhatva. It is good when it is in connection with third house Lord Venus. In case for the native of Leo ascendant, Sun gets debilitated. The house of Leo at least should be strong. Though the ascendant Lord gets debilitated, the ascendant house should be strong. In some way, this has to happen. There are three points that you have to always remember to make predictions about the ascendant. The first point, you have to check the strength of the ascendant. The second point is, you have to check the strength of the ascendant house. The third one is, you have to check the strength of the sun because sun is the significator of ascendant. In whichever Lagna or Ascendant you were born, Sun is the significator of Lagna. For example, Venus is the natural significator of the 7th house. Jupiter is the natural significator of the 2nd house and also the 5th house. Mars is the significator of the 3rd house. All these signifies different Jiva Karaga. As per this concept, Sun is the natural significator of Lagna, whatever Lagna it is. Since Sun is the natural significator of Lagna, since Sun is the significator of Lagna, for the native of Leo Ascendant, the Ascendant Lord is also Sun. And when Sun gets debilitated in house of Libra, it has definitely a shortcoming. When Sun resides within 20 degrees in house of Libra, it loses its Thanabala. When it exceeds 20 degrees in house of Libra, it does not lose Thanabala. It can gain Subhatva in many ways like it can get Subhatva in Navamsa chart that is D9 chart or Sun can be connected to Jupiter or Venus or connection of a benefic. With the above said planetary position, the debilitation will be definitely cancelled. What will be the effect of cancellation of debility of the sun? If sun gets Nichabanga, what will happen for the native of Leo ascendant? The earlier part of your life will be definitely filled with a lot of struggles and in their later life, you will definitely come up in good status if sun's debilitation was properly cancelled. It is very important to know which planet gets debilitated. An ascendant lord should not get debilitated. In case, if the sixth house lord gets debilitated, it is good. What will be the benefit? There will be no enemies or deaths. In case 6th house lord gets Pabatva, then it will give an increased deaths and a lot of enemies. 
Astrology is an art which is a combination of different rules and exceptions. I always repeat this point. In case Ascendant Lord is debilitated and it also gets Nichabanga status, what will happen? There will be a lot of hurdles and sorrows in the earlier part of life. There will be only declines in the earlier part of life. You have to divide your life into two. That is, imagine a person is going to live for 78 years. Then the earlier part of their life, like 39 years, will not definitely be good. In case if the person is going to live for 86 years, let us say, then you have to divide this 86 into 2. The first 43 years of the nature will be definitely filled with challenges and problems. The later part will push the native to higher status as the planet gets Nietzsche Bhanga. There will be a huge positive change in the later part of the life. This is what Nietzsche Bhanga will deliver to the native. I have made these points based on research of many many natal charts. This is how Dasha and Anta Dasha that is major planetary period and minor planetary period of sun will deliver in the third house in Libra if it gets Nietzsche Bhanga. If Ascendant Lord gets Nietzsche Bhanga or got Subhatva then definitely it will deliver benefits in the later half of the life. However, we have to definitely remember that it is not good when Ascendant Lord gets debilitated. When Sun resides in Libra in house of a benefic, Venus, Sun will definitely get Subhatva and when Sun has crossed 20 degrees in house of Libra, it has crossed the status of debilitation. Let me explain the effect of Sun in house of Scorpio. When Sun resides in Scorpio, it will deliver immense benefits since it is a quadrant house to its own house, ascendant house, and it is also in its most friendly house. When a planet, which is the combination of benefic qualities and malefic qualities, resides in a quadrant, it is considered to be very auspicious. When Sun resides in Sagittarius, which is 5th house to Leo, Sun will deliver benefits. Because Sun is 50% benefic and it will deliver benefits of this house. When I explain the effects of planets in different houses, for certain Upachaya Sthanas and in few houses, I will say sometimes it is very good and sometimes it is not good. Please try to understand the basic concept of Subhatva, Pabhatva, Bhavatbhavam and please check whether a planet is functional malefic or functional benefic for the Lagna. For example, when Sun resides in Sagittarius, it resides in the house of a benefic and it resides in a trine. Here the Ascendant Lord resides in the trine house. Therefore, it is good. When a malefic resides in Scorpio and a benefic resides in the house of a benefic. When Sun resides in house of Scorpio, which is a quadrant house to Leo, it is good. And the house of Sagittarius is a trine house to Leo. Since Sun is a combination of benefic and malefic qualities, these predictions have to be considered. In order to make final and correct predictions, you have to check Subhatva of the Sun and of course you have to check the Star Lord of the Sun. Based on this, we can definitely make correct predictions. When Sun resides in Capricorn, it will be in the 6th house to its own house Leo and it also resides in the house of enemy. This is not considered to be auspicious. 
when sun resides in aquarius which is seventh house to lagna it aspects its own house leo when sun aspects its own house leo it strengthens its own house therefore leo gets a lot of strength the house lord aspects its own house and increases its strength based on this concept when sun resides in aquarius it is in seventh house to its own house and it is good when sun resides in pisces it will be in the eighth house to its own house leo yet this is sort of okay because here sun resides in the house of a benefic which is pisces since sun is a malefic it is good when it resides in the eighth house to its own house when sun is in sixth house to its own house leo it is not considered to be auspicious because sun is in house of its enemy that is it is in the house of saturn however when sun resides in eighth house to its own house leo it resides in house of a benefic jupiter so it is considered to be definitely better than its position in the 6th house astrology is very simple if you understand the concepts when i say that sun can do better when it resides in 8th house to its own house leo than its position in 6th house you should definitely question it well when sun resides in 6th house it is not favorable whereas when it resides in 8th house it is considered to be favorable what is the reason behind this difference because when sun resides in 6th house it resides in house of saturn whereas when it resides in 8th house it resides in house of jupiter which is a natural benefic If you understand the concepts of astrology then it is very easy to make predictions My dear students definitely you have to think why I say when sun resides in 6th house it is not as good as its planetary position in 8th house If you contemplate my concepts definitely you will understand the logic behind these concepts what will happen when sun resides in 8th house it will definitely make the native to go abroad or it will make the native to go to a very distant place definitely this person will move away from the native place it might be a foreign country or it might be a neighboring state but definitely the person will not reside in its native place what will happen to earn the bread this person will definitely move away from the native place it can be a foreign country or it can be a neighboring state if you see in a natal chart that when sun is in 8th house and also when major planetary period of sun happens or if there are some planets whose dasha period is going on and which is in conjunction with sun in 8th house or which has connection with sun it means that you are not residing in your native place since your birth time and you are going to move away from your birth place if sun is parbatwa in 8th house then the predictions will differ a little when sun resides in 9th house sun is exalted however this will create karho bhavanasti it is not considered to be auspicious when malefic gets exalted for native of leo ascendant it is considered to be favorable when sun attains digbala that is directional strength in 10th house rather than getting exalted in aries which is ninth house however when sun gets exalted in house of aries it will not deliver worse effects to the native of leo ascendant what will happen when sun gets exalted in ninth house this will give a lot of overconfidence to the native 
and he might face some challenges or consequences due to these actions of overconfidence when sun gets exalted native will grow a lot of overconfidence and will have less tendency to live harmoniously with others and definitely the person will be perceived as a very arrogant person this arrogance will definitely hinder the growth of life there was an actor who was multi talented who had a lot of skill set and was not able to grow because of his overconfidence it is indeed a fact the actor was overconfident that he can do anything in this world which hindered the growth of his professional life though he was extremely talented this sort of effects will be delivered by exalted sun therefore sun should not get exalted in house of aries in case sun gets exalted what is the antidote subhatva is the antidote for this sun will be in control to a certain limit if only sun gets subhatva definitely sun should get the connection of a benefic when mars is in conjunction with sun in aries in 9th house it is good to a certain extent however definitely sun should not get subhatva sun should be in connection with venus which has the capability to pacify sun and to make sun subhatva when sun gets exalted in 9th house without subhatva it will not deliver great benefits when sun gets directional strength in 10th house that is in taurus it delivers immense benefits when sun gets directional strength in 10th house and when it also gets subhatva by residing in the house of venus which is taurus it is considered to be very favorable in addition to this planetary position if sun gets the connection of a benefic like jupiter or waxing moon or lone mercury or even venus then it delivers immense benefits this will deliver very high leading positions to the native and the native will benefit from father native will receive paternal properties based on this planetary position we can say that father is a very reputed person and his planetary position also says about the high status of the father therefore son will deliver a lot of benefits through its significance you will be definitely permitted by the almighty to make perfect predictions when you understand the significance of the planet and the house effects and moreover to blend these two before making predictions now let me explain the effects of sun in the 11th house when sun resides in gemini which is the 11th house it is considered to be good because sun resides in a house whose house lord treats sun as its best friend so here sun delivers immense benefits now let us see the effects of sun in the house of cancer when sun resides in cancer whose house lord is moon it is considered to be good what will happen it will definitely make the native to move to a distant place the 8th and 12th house indicates a distant place it can be a foreign country or the native will travel at least 200 kilometers from his place to settle though it is said that a luminous planet should not be in the 12th house you have to consider that sun resides in house of moon and you have to definitely check the strength of moon in order to make predictions let us imagine a situation where sun resides in cancer and house lord moon that is dispositor resides in scorpio 
where moon gets debilitated this planetary position is not considered to be good when moon is in scorpio and sun is in cancer it means that moon is waxing and heading towards full moon though it has got some light energy based on the concept that the dispositor of the cancer is debilitated it is not considered to be good i often insist that you have to check the planet dispositor natural significator in order to make prediction so when you are going to make a prediction you have to check strength of the sun position of sun dispositor of the house where it resides well this is how you have to make predictions this is all about the effects of sun in different houses for the native of leo ascendant in my next video i'm going to explain the effects of sun in different houses for the native of virgo ascendant well this is question time for the native of leo ascendant when sun gets exalted in aries will it deliver benefits or not please write your answers in the comment section of this video in the description box we have added the playlist link of all english videos so far published the link of aditya guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both ios and android users the link of google play store app is also given in the description box that is available only for android users the tamil version of this video is also available please please check the description box write your feedback to astro.writeus@gmail.com thank you